We're here with Lake Speed Junior of Total Seal. All right, I know you can make my race car faster. I know you can make my race car more efficient. What about my business? If I've got a business that has pumps, I got a business that has compressors, maybe generators, maybe a big fleet of vehicles. Is there something you can do to help me there? Essentially, the things that make horsepower in your race car can also increase fuel economy and increase oil life. So think about blow by is a great example. So we all know that if you reduce the blow by in your engine, it'll probably make more power because that's just combustion power that's being wasted in terms of blow by. So if I reduce blow by, I make more horsepower, my race car goes faster, I got a lower ET on my time slip. That's a good thing. But if I reduce blow by in my compressor or generator engines or fleet vehicles, you extend the oil life. So let's do a little bit of math here and play right. So think about if I can reduce my blow by and therefore increase my oil change interval, how much money does that save? Not only in labor costs, but also in oil costs. I mean, everything's higher these days. I mean, gas is higher, oil's higher, all your equipment, all the labor's higher. If I can reduce the amount of maintenance on my equipment, just by making some simple changes to my piston rings, who wouldn't do that? Well, it also sounds like, especially in an industrial case, you're reducing downtime of whatever the equipment is, because if you don't have to stop it for maintenance, that's more hours that it's running. Opportunity costs, right? I mean, the US Navy back in World War II actually started doing oil analysis on the airplanes because as opposed to just doing maintenance based on a number of hours, it's like, oh, okay, well, that plane can't fly because it's been 25 hours. Well, no, there's an attack coming. We need to fly that plane. Can we fly the plane? Well, let's analyze the oil and make sure it's okay to do it. Now, a lot of fleets are doing that, so it gives them the tool to already know, if I change these piston rings and I go to a, a thinner, lighter, more conforming piston ring that seals up better, so there's less blow by, they'll be able to see that in fuel economy, blow by, oil life, which again, downtime and opportunity cost. So if I've got a piece of equipment that's gonna be a part, that's probably not a ring that you're gonna have in stock, right? But you can make whatever I need. The best thing to do is if, I, if someone's really interested in trying to reduce their operating costs and extend the life of their equipment, I'd say reach out to us, give us a call, right? Because the best opportunity isn't just swapping a new ring into an existing piston design. Probably it's gonna be working with a piston manufacturer coming up with a new design to take advantage of all the technology that we have, you know? I go back, I know this is a NASCAR analogy, but mm -hmm. if you go back to like 2002 in NASCAR, the state of the art was a 043, 043, three millimeter ring package. Those engines lasted one race, 500 miles and they were done. Today, they're running a 0.5 millimeter, 0.6 millimeter, that's 020, 024, that's half the thickness with a two millimeter oil ring. Those short blocks now live like 1500 race miles. So it's three times the life, but the rings are thinner, but it's also reduced the amount of friction. You know, friction and blow by are the absolute enemy of any engine, any compressor. So what we can do here is take advantage of all that same technology that we put into Matt's post stock car that helps it win races. We can put that to use in your equipment that lowers downtime, extends life, reduces operating costs. So basically, if you've got anything with a piston ring, whether it's a pump, whether it's a compressor, whether it's an industrial engine, next time you're doing maintenance, you need to give these guys a call. The same technology that makes your race car faster, makes your equipment more efficient, and in the end, it'll save you money. <laughs>